So some of you may remember this these chainsaws right here. They're both steel MS-170s and they're both my daily users back when I would cut wood all day. So if you do remember the chainsaws, it is quite likely that you'll remember the day that I took the blade off and ran this chainsaw right here into the water. Before I actually start them, I'm going to give you the rundown of what I'm going to do. So I have this chainsaw here, the one that is, should start, I started a few weeks ago. This one hasn't gone underwater at all, so it should start fine like a normal chainsaw. And then I want to show you what it sounds like to start a normal chainsaw. And then there's my tripod, that's the one that I'm going to film me starting these with. And there's the one that I don't think will start, but like I said, it's been three months since I ran it under the water. So right after I ran it under the water, I tried to start it again. It wouldn't start, but since then I put it in the garage and haven't started it since. So it might start, I don't think it will, but we'll see. So I was actually really surprised but after I started them both easily. They both started just like they normally would. And um, obviously I didn't think it was going to start this one right here that I ran under the water. It um, started just like normal. You know a lot of people said you know I was an idiot for doing that. You know you waste perfectly fine chainsaw. Well I have you know. I got a lot of views from that video that I uploaded. You know, obviously I returned some money. So, I mean, it was an investment making the video. And, um, obviously I didn't ruin the chainsaw. I still have a perfectly fine chainsaw. It was a calculated risk because I realized, you know, I could be out of a chainsaw. But I knew I wasn't going to use it anymore. I had two of them. So, it was just like, I'm going to, you know, run under the water, see if it continues to run and it died in the water I didn't ever think I'd start it again but I did start it it's definitely a good risk to run it in the water because I made some money from the video I'm gonna continue to make money from the video and I have a chainsaw that works even though I ran it in the water obviously from the video I didn't completely run it under the water but I ran it to the point where it died